So I've come to the far end of the seafront, just around the corner there is uh, the Nays Tower and the Nature Reserve. As I swing round, we can see a long way in the distance, it's a long walk, Walton Pier, which is pretty long. And we're gonna take a walk on the pier and you'll see why th this particular pier is not one of my favorites. We'll see why later. So we're gonna walk along the cliff edge here and then walk down onto the seafront. So just walking up this part of the, uh, the cliff top, you come across all these very nice houses. Every little seaside resort you go, they always have what I would call a millionaire's row. And uh, definitely some of these houses, I wouldn't say they're worth a million pounds, but uh, they sure are nice. And they're probably worth a lot more than my house, car, and my sister's house combined. And today is one of the hottest days of the year, I think. The temperatures here in Essex are gonna peak at about 36 degrees. Thankfully, this is why people come to the coast because it's, uh, it's a bit more comfortable. It's, uh, it's 26 degrees here today. That's a lovely house over there. It's always been my dream to have a house and a garden that stretches out and then you see nothing else but sea one day. And definitely the place to be today on the water. People out there on jet skis, sailing on boats. So a little point of interest, if you ever come into Walton on the Naze and you fancy coming to see a museum, you can check out the smallest museum here in Essex. It's the Walton Maritime Museum. And obviously because of coronavirus, museums aren't currently open. But fascinating that this used to be the old lifeboat house as well. I think this was built back in 1884, so it's a pretty old building. So if you are going to be doing this particular walk, best thing to do, get refreshed at the last fisherman's calf. So Walton on the Naze is very quiet. It's got a really lovely beach and pier. And I guess if you want a little bit more action, you could just go further up the coast towards Clacton. And if uh, you're a big fan of Clacton, next week, that is where we're going to be going. Now they're very pleasing on the eye. How pretty are they? Very posh. There's one up there for sale if you're interested. Can you see how clear the seawater is today? Look at that. And I think you'll agree, this is the busiest day I've ever seen Walton on the Nays. The first amusements I've seen on the seafront So if you head in that direction, you go briefly into, I guess you'd call it the town, but it's more like a high street, to be honest. And I thought there was a sign I saw coming in, and there it is, just to prove you're in England's friendliest resort. And coming up here, Walton on the Naze has always been quite famous actually for its seafront gardens. Yeah. 
So as we walk up here, we come to Walton Pier. And I don't know what it is about piers in Essex, but they do like to be long. However, as you see, my only criticism for Walton Pier is it could do with a little bit of an upgrade. It's looking rusty. It's looking pretty bad. So it is really busy today. We'll see how far we get inside the pier. Kind of reminds me of a train station or a warehouse. I love this though, such a classic fun fair ride. Look at that. I know these dodgems have been here for a long time. So yeah, I mean, the kids can buy wristbands to go on the rides in here, especially if the weather's a bit rubbish outside. Never been in here, but this always looks pretty good, the ghost train. It's well themed, actually. So a great place here, which is always quite nice, actually, because it's always out of the wind, this part of the pier. And we're going to walk right to the end and check out what's on the end of it. As I said, when you look at the, uh, the paintwork and everything, it really is looking a little bit sorry for itself, this pier. I mean, I've only walked literally just, I would say about, I don't know, 20, 30 meters. And just look how far we are away from the beach already. Look at the color of the water today. Makes you want to jump in. It's so odd to look on the pier and just see it go on as far as the eye can see with people in the distance. It's crazy. I wonder if this is big as South End Pier. Probably not actually, but I don't think it's far off it. And I always talk about beach huts wherever I go. Walton on the Nays, by far, has the most amount of beach huts I have ever seen in any coastal resort. Just look how many there are over there. We'll go and check those out in a minute. It freaks people out when they're walking on a pier that they can actually see the sea underneath. Um, I kind of like it. I guess if you're scared of heights, maybe it might scare you, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below. And the fact that when you're walking on it, some parts wobble. I know that um, I had an ex-girlfriend who used to have this phobia of walking on piers. Does anyone else know someone they know who has a phobia of piers? I don't know what it's actually called, but let me know in the comments below if you do. So just like in Cromer, at the end of the pier here, we find the Walton and Frinton lifeboat. Certainly is a, uh, a long walk to the lifeboat in an emergency, right? It's actually really calming just to hear the water. It's very calm today, as you can see. In fact, it's almost like a pond. Can't get to the end of the pier. Apparently it's for members only. It's 
few people fishing up there. The water today looks so inviting. And just there in the distance, you can see the Walton Tower. And I started my walk off just literally over there, walked all the way along the seafront and up here towards the pier. And yeah, I'm managing to go under the pier. <laughs> Look at that. The water is so warm and so clear. Again, I've got this thing with coming under piers because I find them so unique. Can I walk on this? Yeah. And this is where we come up to these really unique beach huts. And this is where we come up to these really unique beach huts. And it really is like a beach hut city. You've got them on so many different levels. They've even got their own decking look. What a view. Surprised that nobody are in these ones today. All the other lower ones are all pretty busy. Wonder if you have to pay extra for the decking or maybe what some people have put in, some solar powered lights as well. And just literally behind the pier, we come up to this little area where if you fancy it you can do the Martello Tower Trail which if you look directly in front of you you can see it just in the distance so you can see the church in the background if you follow this trail you'll get to the Martello Tower you walk through this uh, New housing estate. And like most Mortello Towers nowadays, this one has also been bought privately. And I think someone's living in there. Really random to see it in the shadow of like normal houses. And just walking away from the town, up in this direction, we come to Nays Marina. This is just so pretty. So peaceful as well. So my last trip here in Walton on the Naze is the Naze Centre and more importantly the Naze Tower. It was a navigational tower constructed to assist ships on the otherwise fairly featureless coast. You can climb the 111 step spiral staircase to the top of the tower which I've done before. It stands at 86 foot 26 meters for a 360 degree view of the beach and countryside. And this is an absolutely huge area to come if you want to have a picnic. Wow, there's not many places to go for a walk like this. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go any further. <laughs> and in the distance there, you can see Harridge and Felixstowe. And from this direction, you can actually walk all the way along the Naze and back around again. 
so that was Walton on the A's. What did you think of it? Tell me in the comments. As always, please give the video a like and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.